Well, win or go home, that was the scenario for Harlingen South in the third round. The Hawks dropped game two to Carroll last night, their first loss dating back to February 15th. Quite a while since the Hawks once lost last, but South at home for game three this afternoon. So let's head to the ballpark for some drama filled action on the diamond. The Hawks load up the bases in the top of the third. Kaylee Silva doing her part at the dish. Silva with a sacrifice fly to center. Just enough for Amira Rodriguez to beat the throw home to tie this game up at one. However, Carroll loads up the bases themselves in the bottom half of the inning. They already put up one run across the board, but Lexi Sandoval gets out of the jam with the strikeout. South looking for a counter punch in the fourth inning now, but look at the diving effort by Isabella Guzman. The first baseman with an incredible catch by the dugout. No fear there at all. So bottom four, the Tigers look like they're going to pull away in this one. Talina Valdez swings at the first pitch. She sees two runs come around to score, but South comes back roaring late in this game to advance and win the series 5-4, to four, the final. From one diamond to the other now, it's game three. Over at Mack High between the Bulldogs and Palmview, the Lobos forcing the win or go home scenario with the six to five win last night. So which Valley team would take the deciding game this afternoon? Well, let's find out in the highlights. We're going right now. Top one, the Lobos with a runner in scoring position, but the Bulldogs sniffing out the attempted steal to third base. Check out this throw by Justin Garza on the money to beat the Palmview runner as we are staying tied at zero right there. Top two now, Fernie Oliveres dealing on the bump. The off-speed pitch just too good to pass up in the dirt, though. That throw on the money to get out of the inning. Not a lot of offense, though, in this one. Top three, Joseph Martinez, though, breaks the tie. The blooper gets past the right fielder. Martinez is off to the races, and he's going to come all the way around to score. And inside the park, Homer is how the scoring starts in this one. But it's Mackay who puts two runs across to clinch the second round series, two to one, the final. Other 5A teams in action today included McAllen, Memorial, and Pioneer. So let's start with the Mustangs. A rough game two for Memorial as they fell 12 to 4, but there's a reason this team is in the second round for the first time in 27 years. They take game three, 7 to 5, to advance to the third round for the first time since 1990. As for the Diamondbacks, they force a game three with a 7 to 3 win. Earlier this afternoon, but game three, all Victoria East as the Titans win it eight to two, ending Pioneers season. Let's go up to 6A now out in Laredo. The Bears looking to keep their postseason run alive in game two against Laredo. Alexander pick it up bottom two runner on for the Bulldogs, but heads up play by Sebastian Placencias. He loses his glove, but stays with the play to get the out. But later in the inning, a ball gets past the catcher. Alexander sends the runner home to put them on top now, 1-0. Fast forward to the third, Alexander threatening once again. Base hit up the middle. Ryan Viejo comes up firing from center field and just in time to get the runner out at home, keeping this game at 1-0. But Laredo blanks the Bears for the second straight game, 2-0 the final, ending PSJA season in the second round. Other 6A schools in action. Westlaco with a dramatic game three down six nothing. The Panthers come all the way back and walk it off in the seventh in a three and a half hour ball game. They're moving on with a nine to eight win. And Los Fresnos series with San Antonio O'Connor going three games as well. But the Falcons dropping both games today, ending their season. The final 6A team in action was La Jolla. The Coyotes Offense explodes for 15 runs as they beat San Antonio Brennan 15 to 5 to take the series and set up La Jolla versus Westlaco in the third round.